For 800 years, Franciscan friars have followed Jesus Christ. Today, the Franciscan Mission Association shares the gospel around the world. Franciscan Mission Association is an organization that seeks to assist the missionaries' activities of the Franciscans all over the world, in Africa, in Asia, in South America, and in many other places that maybe time will not permit me to mention. And this association has gone a long way to bring the good news to people through the inspiration of St. Francis. The mission that our friars have in Rio de Janeiro was started back in 1946, and the friars came from the United States down to Rio de Janeiro to serve the needs of the people there in Brazil, in Rio particularly, and it's known as the Custody of the Immaculate Conception because it was originated from the Immaculate Conception province of our friars, and we've been there ever since. The mission in Sri Lanka is named after the founder of our order, St. Francis himself because the friars wanted uh, that it be named after the founder whose spirituality uh, has inspired us to move into a new place and to spread the way of living uh, of St. Francis. The mission has grown a lot from the time we began, from 2000 to now 2017. In the beginning, we were just two of us and we were working mostly in this uh, shrine in parish. Now we have four different presences in Sri Lanka. Out of these four, three are four mission houses. The name of the mission in Ghana is named after St. Anthony of Padua. And this mission began in 1977. At the time that the friars came, there were a couple of people who were suffering from diseases like leprosy and tuberculosis. And these are the people that the friars gathered around in camps and giving them they needed basic medicine that they need and clean their wounds and at the same time evangelize among the people over there by baptizing and then offering their sacramental activities also for them. In the recent years, the friars have been focusing their efforts on the basic medical needs like a pharmacy uh, for those parishioners who maybe don't have access to that. And then also they've kept the social ministry, so the clothing donations, the food donations, things like that, they've still maintained that because it's been very much received well by uh, those who come to the parish. The most important thing that we brought to the community is to form a Catholic community there. And we were the first priests to go to that village and live among the people. And that brought so much of joy to the community there. Whatever it is that we do, be it you know, a, a serious need for water, for security, for social needs, for the need of accompaniment. It's something that fulfills that call, uh, which we saw in Jesus himself, that he came to be among us. You know, that he didn't despise us or he didn't avoid it. He, he, he was willing to enter into the muck, uh, to enter into our day-to-day -day lives. And, and help us. Our Lord Jesus Christ is calling all Christians to be missionaries. But not all people, all Christians have the grace to leave the comfort of their homes, the security of their countries, to go into a far off land to minister to people where they don't know what is awaiting them. But you see, we can all be even a set of home missionaries where the donations that we go making sure that it is given to the right people, where it's going to the right source to impact the people in a positive way. Join us in sharing the hope of the gospel. Please give today. <laughs>